I'm Antoine Lane, creator of Training Lanes, where we inspire the idea of you. And today I'm excited because we have our first top performing video. Now I'm gonna give you some keys and tips on how to become a top performer. Now what's a performer? Well, we all are performers. It doesn't matter if you're a parent, a supervisor, a subordinate, a manager, a leader, we are all performers. And the key is, how do you become a top performer? Well, step number one, you must liberate your perspective. You must widen your gaze. Becoming a top performer releases yourself from the day-to-day -day mundane, the, the, the stuff that can hypnotize you to sleep. Those are the fundamentals that you gotta have down, but you can't stay trapped in those. You have to broaden your perspectives, have a curiosity about people, forecast problems before they begin, and provide viable solutions. Step one to becoming a top performer, liberate your perspective. Step two is to boldly offer ideas. Now listen, we can all lose our confidence sometimes when it comes to offering ideas, but you have to boldly offer them because remember, listen, ideas are in their developmental stage for much of their existence. And I don't want you to suffer from what I call idea indictment syndrome. You have to understand that when an idea is presented, it's gonna be interviewed, it's gonna be interrogated, cross-examined, and indicted on whether it is to do or to don't. If it can stand on its own merit, then you've got yourself a great idea. But if it doesn't, cut the umbilical cord an emotional entanglement to fiercely defend an idea that can't stand on its own is not an act of valor, it's a time waster. Instead, let the idea stand. If it can be processed to the next phase, then we'll move from brainstorming to actual implementation and you've got yourself an impact that can be positively measured on a team. That's step two. Step three, take action. I recall an illustration from author John Stevens who says a man is walking along the bank of a river and he sees like four people being swept away by the river and they're screaming out for help. And before he can take a step to help them, the number doubles. So now there's eight people. So now what does he do? Does he dive right in and help one person or does he go upstream and find out who's throwing these people in? Now I'm gonna break this illustration down a little bit further. Group one says, the only ethical thing to do is to dive right in and help as many people as you can. Then there's group two. Group two says, man, we gotta grow upstream and find out who's throwing all these people in. And then there's group three. Group three settles and does nothing. And more importantly, they encourage groups one and two to do nothing. They say, hey man, I'm not gonna dive in and help those people, they might drown me. And I'm most certainly not gonna grow upstream, they may throw me in. So I'm going to go for help, not action. It doesn't matter if the action is chess or checkers. It doesn't matter if the action is a little bit ineffective, great effect, take action of any kind. Taking action is better than taking no action at all. So becoming a top performer is about broadening your perspectives, presenting ideas, and boldly taking action. Remember, you are what you think, do not try. I'm Antoine Lane.